Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm so excited to be sitting down sharing with you guys my June favorites. These videos are my favorite to film because they're a little bit lengthier, they're chit chatty, and they're fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys do. And if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified the next time I upload at the time that we're filming this. We are like 20 subscribers away from 20,000 subscribers. It's so crazy to me. I'm so excited. So definitely hit that subscribe button. It seriously means the world to me and I'm happy to have you guys along on my journey. So with my favorites videos, I always like to start off with what I've been listening to, share with movie recommendations, what I've been wearing, favorite beauty products, random stuff, and always ending with a quote that motivated me so far this month. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I film them every month. They're seriously such a staple on my channel and I'm just so excited to share this with you guys. So I'm going to open up Spotify. My Spotify is public so you can go check it out. It's at Kelly Tuvise Tomlinson and I'm going to warn you guys I've listened to a lot of Harry Styles and a lot of Luke Combs this month. So little mix but I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first song is obviously off of Harry's house, Harry Styles new album. And it's a little bit different. I was listening to this on the web browser on my computer when I was editing thumbnails the other day. Which also, I went by and added new thumbnails to old videos. So if you're confused, I did go back and redo that. So the first song that I was really like kind of bopping along to was Keep Driving. It has a fantastic beat to it. At first, when I first listened to the album, it was not one of my favorite songs at all. But now it's like one of my top. And then also that the last song on the album, Love of My Life. Kind of like to pretend Harry's like singing about me, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a hardcore One Direction Harry Styles fan. So anyways, that is what I've been listening to from Harry. I also have a random song on here. My parents and I, along with John, went and saw Train in concert. So I've been listening to their music a lot. I love their song called Marry Me. It's just kind of like a romantic, fun song. It's really slow, but I like it. And then the concert, by the way, was fantastic. And speaking of concerts, we booked our tickets to go see Luke Combs. I am so excited. So of course I'm listening to him to get familiar with his music. And my favorite song, and it's like another romantic one, is Forever After All. It is just such a like happy song. I just, I don't know, I just really like it. It hits home for me. And then another song from him that I love is even though I'm leaving. Now it's kind of like a weird sad song, but I don't know why I like it so much. I just think it's really pretty and I like listening to it. But all of his songs are really good. All of Harry's songs are really good. So that's what I've been listening to. Again, my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise at Tomlinson in case you guys want to check it out. Those are just like the top five. I have a whole playlist for summer, so definitely go check it out. Now I want to share with you guys my favorite movies and shows that I've been watching and what I want to go see because I have a lot of like movie tickets purchased. <laughs> so I went and saw Downtown Abbey in the movie theater with John. I've never seen any of the show or any of the prior movies and it was so good. So I definitely recommend it. I definitely want to try watching the series. It's just always been a little too slow for me, but the movie was fantastic. Then I also started watching Sex and the City on HBO Max. We recently purchased it for, I think you get like a month free trial and then you can watch it from there. But they have so many shows. We bought the premium version so you don't have to have any commercials. And it's just been fun kind of getting into a new show. And then I mentioned I bought movie tickets. John and I really want to go see the new Elvis movie with Austin Butler in it. And if you guys know me, back in my like, I want to say 2016, 20, no, 2018, 2017, I was obsessed with the Carrie Diaries. They were on Netflix. It was a prequel to Sex and the City. I have the books. I watched the whole show. I even made a whole purse video while I started over here about the show. Austin Butler was the main actor in it. So I am so excited to see Elvis. And then also we bought our tickets to go see Minion, the, the Minion movie, The Rise of Gru. I love the Minions. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but it just makes me so happy. So those are current movies and shows. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know because I'm always looking for a new movie to watch and I like almost any category except for horror. Now moving on to my favorite category of clothes. It's really colorful this month and I'm so happy about it. So on June 1st, I wore this, but I wear this all the time and it is my white best day ever by Judith March sweatshirt and it is so cute. It's got the little patches on it. I know this is not everyone's style, but it's an oversized fit. It has a drop cut, so it's a little bit shorter. I'm only 5'4". I think it fits true to size. I love it. 
it is so snuggly so i had to share that another sweater because honestly it was kind of chilly until this past like two weeks and i feel like we're going through a major heat wave right now was this neon green sweater it's kind of like tie-dye this is from the brand bp at nordstrom i think it's just so cute and it's one of these lightweight sweaters like i'm definitely going to be bringing this to the beach with me for like a beach evening but so stinking cute i also did a skincare video in this so if you guys want to check that out be sure to check it out you guys know how much i love two-piece sets so i'm kind of giving you guys this an extra item this month and it is this purple gingham two-piece set it's these scrunched up waist shorts and this ties into a little bow and then it's like a mini crop top top these are so high-waisted that it kind of makes up for how little the top is because trust me if I was wearing this with like a pair of jeans, I wouldn't feel as confident, but these pants make it really flattering. This is from Shein. I'm on the hunt for another like set like this this year, but I've been wearing this one a lot. I have the same version in green, and I swear that is all I've been wearing this summer. Then, of course, my hot pink chino shorts had to make a comeback. I'm so excited about these. They have been in my wardrobe forever, but these are like my go-to in the summertime because they're so bright and fluorescent. And then another one, and I didn't know I would gravitate towards this as much, but it is my tie-dye monogram t-shirt. This is from an Etsy seller. I'll try my best to find it, but look how cute this monogram is. But ladies, what do you do once you get married with all your monogram items? Like, I still have some time, but my monogram is going to change once I get married. And I have so many monogram items, I'm like, do I just keep them? Like, I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any tips on that, let me know in the comments down below. But those are all of my clothing favorites. I have a few beauty favorites to share with you guys. And since I've been a little TMI about how hot it is, I've been wearing men's deodorant. <laughs> this is so weird. But this is Old Spice in Fiji. I feel like it's not too manly of a smell, but I like it because I feel like, and I feel like I've talked to a few girlfriends about this, the men's deodorant just lasts a little bit longer. So if you're looking for a good smelling deodorant, love this. I just picked it up recently. Then I've been loving my Tropic Glow Tree Hut Firming Shea Butter. This stuff smells so good. It smells like summertime in a jar. So definitely go check this out. I also, for my skin hair favorites, have been loving this Burst skin soak moisture cream i put this on it is so thick i love it i put it on when my face just needs a little bit extra moisture especially with going to the pool and everything i feel like the heat's been drying it out and then i have two makeup favorites so this is the last paradise and voluminous primer from l'oreal so this is the primer you put it on first it looks kind of scary it makes your eyelashes turn white but you they make your lashes look so long because it kind of gives a little extra length to your lashes and then this stuff just grips right to it regular mascara i have it on right now it is amazing i love it i love this little duo but every time someone asks me about my mascara i'm like be sure to get the primer too because it really makes that big of a difference those are all of my beauty favorites now i have some accessories to share with you guys the first one are my new earrings. John got these for me for our anniversary and they're so special because they have the same like amount of prongs as my engagement ring, same cut. They're so pretty, they're yellow gold and I've been wearing them on repeat. They're so stinking cute, but so funny. I bought these like literally two days before and they are my Target A New Day Huggy earrings. Now you get all three of these for $8, which I think is such a steal and I was so excited to pair them up but then i realized spacing on my piercing this is like tmi but i don't really care but my piercing spacing is a little bit different on each side and i was planning on wearing two huggies on each ear and it just looked funky so i did like the diamond and the huggy and i thought that was really cute but now i got new earrings to wear so don't have to worry about that right now then my diy sparkly cowgirl hat john and i went to a country concert with his family a few I guess a few weeks ago and I made this DIY hat so these are all hand pedazzled each single gem and this was an iron-on patch oh my gosh I'm just looking forward to any time I can wear this because it is my pride and joy I love it makes me very happy and it's like a heart hat very on brand but super sparkly so fun it's very heavy and it gives you extreme hat hair anytime you wear it then, of course, my neon heart purse that I shared with you guys the other day. I'll insert a card in case you want to check it out. And then a tried and true favorite are my France sandals. These are from this brand. I have no idea goodness, how to pronounce it, but I bought these in Saint-Tropez forever ago. They last. They're extremely great quality, but I just love the look of them. So I had to share them. I've been wearing them a lot. Then I have a few random favorites to share with you guys, including my background on my computer i'll share that that's on canva 
Then I have my heart painting back there that I love. On my desk, I have some new flowers. I have some over there. I have a candle. I just feel like my room's kind of coming together. We've been here for almost a year now, and I'm like, I feel at home. I also got new nails this month, which I've been loving. I can't decide for next month if I want to get neon green, white, or like a baby pink. I'm so indecisive. I was like tempted there for a minute, like I'll just remove them and paint them myself so I can do it as many times as I want. So then I googled how to remove a gel and manicure and it scared me. So I'm definitely going to go get them done again because I don't know. I just like getting my nails done. And then also I've been loving going swimming because it's been so hot and we finally have our own pool. It's just so much fun. But those are all of my favorites. If we have anything in common, let me know in the comments down below. I love ending off these videos with a quote that's been inspiring me. And that quote is, remember why you started. Next weekend on Sunday the 26th is my six year anniversary of starting YouTube. I'm so close to 20,000 subscribers. And I just keep remembering like, remember why you did this in the first place and it really motivates me so hopefully that'll motivate you inspire you i hope you guys are having a great day definitely hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys back here very soon with my next new video bye guys